What's going on? YouTube Metal Complex here, and today I've got an interesting uh, video to share with you guys, one that I think a lot of you will find kind of kind of fun. Um, for the longest time, I could not come up with an idea for a Christmas upload, and then it hit me all at once. Um, oh, I should uh, totally ask my uh, viewers to select my <laughs> Christmas uh, my Christmas carry. Um, so just off camera, I have a whole bunch of knives out of my own personal collection that I feel very strongly about, either in favor of or... Uh, knives that I just don't like. Um, some of them are, you know, obvious choices. In fact, my own personal choice is uh, is back here. And then there are knives that would be kind of, you know, an, an odd choice for Christmas morning. And then I have other knives that would just be downright frustrating to use as a tool for opening packages. So I'm going to let you guys decide whether you want to be naughty or nice to me. Uh, haha, there we go. We made it a Christmas video. I tied it together. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys choose. Now, um, you know, at the time of this upload, you guys are seeing this, uh, early, you know, if you're, if you're watching this, like the moment that I uploaded it, um, then you're seeing this, uh, Christmas Eve, but in the morning, um, we do open some packages Christmas Eve, and then we open some Christmas morning. So what I'm going to try to do is get some footage of myself and my family members, my extended family members, um, attempting to use whatever tool you guys select for us. Um, to uh, open packages. So I guess keep that in mind while you're uh, making your, uh, while you're voting. Though everybody's used to me being the knife guy and everybody always asks for my knife, just like I'm sure a lot of your friends and family members do uh, in your homes Christmas morning if you celebrate Christmas. Um, so yeah, anyways, um, that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna try and upload it. Now, if for whatever reason I can't get video footage or it just doesn't work out, um, the way that I want it to, I will try to at least include some um, photographs, uh, some photographs, oh my gosh, I sound old, some pictures, uh, and I'll put them up on uh, Instagram for those of you who follow me on Instagram, but there will be proof of me actually carrying and using this knife Christmas morning. So here we go, I'm just gonna lay them out one at a time. First up, an obvious choice, the Spyderco Pair 3. This would actually be my choice for Christmas morning. Um, I have other knives that I definitely would be okay with, but this would definitely be my choice. No surprise there. This is the most carried, my most carried knife of 2019, if you haven't watched that episode. Another obvious choice, the Spyderco Shaman. Perhaps a little bit big, but definitely a good choice for Christmas morning. Next up, one that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, even though it'll still cut, uh, the Kaiser XL Sheepdog. Quite a shocking knife to carry on Christmas morning, but I suppose if you want to vote for that, there you go. Gift from uh, good old Shaker MT. Next up, a knife that I absolutely hate and have talked about on this channel before, the Smith & West, Wesson Extreme Ops Black Rescue Tanto. Brrr, I don't like that knife at all. That, that knife sucks. Uh, next up, a knife that I would be perfectly okay with carrying. It's a little tactical for Christmas morning, but the Kershaw Blur uh, Black Tanto assisted with the serrations. That was a gift. Uh, next up, a, a gift from uh, Jeff. This is the uh, the Curtis um, ODT, I believe. This is an awesome one. I actually it would make a lot of sense to do to carry something like this on Christmas morning. I'd be perfectly happy carrying this little guy. Nice little custom piece there. Uh, next up, a knife that I don't like at all, but would definitely make sense for Christmas morning. The Open Elt Number Eight. Um, this knife is just, gosh, I'm gonna make a lot of people mad by saying this. It's just not cool enough. <laughs> God, that's so awful. There's nothing wrong with this knife. It's just not, I just don't like it. It's so mean. Open Elves have served many people very well for so long. You know, that's just how I feel about it. Uh, next up, a knife that I would love to carry Christmas morning, the um, Benchmade Super Freak. Uh, this was a gift from my buddy, Justin the Hunter, one that I've been carrying here lately and very much enjoying. I'll be very happy if you guys uh, vote for this knife. I'd be Pumped to carry that Christmas morning. Next up, another um, bladed object that I would be really excited to carry Christmas morning. Um, this is the uh, custom J Jason Carver, I believe Jason Carver uh, Damasteel. It's like a, uh, a scalpel, essentially. Um, it's got the Timascus clip. This would be super cool. I think it would kind of be a little bit shocking to some of my family members, but at the same time, they'd be like, oh, okay. I mean, it does work as a package opener. So yeah, I'd be really excited um, and, and very happy if you guys selected that one for carry. Tuck that guy in there. Next up, the Hinderer XM18. Of course I'd be pumped if you guys selected this one. I think uh, the XM18 is complete and total overkill for Christmas, but I mean, you never know when that lock bar stabilizer is gonna come in handy. You know, if I'm gonna have to pry something uh, 
uh, open. You know, maybe the adrenaline rush of whatever it is that I think I'm opening is just too much for me. And, you know, maybe I would otherwise overextend that, um, that, uh, um, that lock bar, you know, thank God for that, uh, that little, um, <laughs> lock bar stabilizer disc. Uh, here's a knife that just wouldn't work. And I have a feeling this is the one, this one and one other are going to get the majority of the votes. <sighs> the Dolica. Um, it's not sharp and it doesn't lock. It's not dangerous, but it would be pretty frustrating to use as a um, device to open packages with. So there you go, it's in there. Thanks a lot, Kiefer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I have a special uh, special place in my heart for the Dolica. Next up, definitely a knife that I would be super excited to carry Christmas morning. My brand new uh, Benchmade Custom Shop Crooked River has already seen some use opening a few packages, a few early packages. Um, this was another gift from Shaker, a fantastic gift and one that I would be very, very happy and, and very comfortable using on Christmas morning. Okay, so these are the... Oh, oh, you're saying I'm leaving one out? What, I mean, what knife could I be leaving out? I don't understand. Oh, wait. I know what you guys want to see. That's right. The Rainbow Lady of the Sea is also um, one that you can vote for. So... There you go, guys. Um, I would ask you to be nice to me, but uh, I will honor whatever you guys decide. So um, go ahead and just leave a comment down in the description. You can um, just say the name of the knife, or you can um, you know add some things in there as far as why you're making that choice. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So uh, happy voting. And uh, thanks for watching. And as usual, if you guys enjoyed this video, or you're excited about it, or you're feeling positive in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and leave a like if you'd like to check out my other content. I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on this metal complex logo right here and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.